Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Redis tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how we can use some of the command with the string values. Now in this video also, we will see some more command which we can use with the string values in Redis. So let's get started. First of all, I will show you uh, one command which is valid in a Linux terminal also, which is the clear command. So when you do uh, clear, it's going to clear your terminal, right? So you can see when I have given the clear command, it's going to clear the terminal. And basically what it does is it just gives some of the some space uh, in between your uh, last command, which you have executed and this uh, after this clear. Okay. So now uh, you can see this terminal is totally empty now, right? And now we can uh, start uh, executing some of the other command. So right now our uh, database is totally empty, I think. So we can check it with keys, asterisks. And now let's set some uh, values. And this time uh, we can uh, use a command which is called uh, set ex. Okay. And this set ex is the command. Uh, which we can use with second so you just need to write set ex and this means set the value with the expiry of the key okay and then for example I just give uh, the key and then I need to give some uh, seconds so you can see the next option I need to give here is the number of seconds I want uh, this uh, key to live in my redis database and after that it will be automatically deleted so for example 10 second i want to give here and then i want to give the value of it for example max okay now uh, when i just uh, press enter it's going to say okay and when i just get name it's there right and then there is a command called ttl and then you can use uh, the key with this and it says two and what is this two so ttl is the command uh, for time to live so it will check uh, for how much time or how long it's uh, this key is going to live okay and it says two seconds okay so this is time to live and then the key and then uh, it returns us uh, two seconds because eight test eight second has already passed after after giving this command and once again for example i will just say get name and it's no longer there right because we have just set uh, 10 second expiry on this key so after 10 second it will be automatically deleted right for example, I will uh, just give a 50 second expiry, for example, here. So, 50 max. And then I will just give a TTL and then name. And then you can see it shows 44 second, once again, 40 second. And then uh, it will show you the seconds uh, for which this key is going to live. Okay. And after 36 second, it will be deleted right so these are uh, two more command which you can use with the string right now let's set one more value for example set uh, name 2 and name 2 is equal to tom okay and uh, now uh, we can uh, for example uh, override this value so i told you whenever you write something like this set name 2 and uh, some other name for example john then it will overwrite the value of name 2 for example i take name 2 as my key and give some other value it will overwrite but if you don't know uh, if uh, name 2 is there and if you don't want to overwrite uh, name 2 then you can use this command called set nx and this set nx first of all checks if the this key is available or not and if, key, if this key is not available then only it's going to uh, you know create this key otherwise it's going to just ignore right so let's uh, give this command and it says zero 
zero because uh, no key is affected due to this command that means uh, when we do get uh, name two we can see this name is not overwritten because this command is used or will be successful when this key is not available in the database right if it's available then it's going to uh, just ignore and if it's not available then it's going to create a new value for example i will just give uh, set nx3 and this value is not available uh, there so i will just give some other name and it says integer one that means one value is affected and then i will just do keys asterisk to see the values and i, and I can see name two is there and name three is there that means this was successful right and i can also get the value from uh, get name uh, three also and i can see that value is there let me clear this uh, terminal now if you want to know the length of the value stored in the key then you can just use str len command okay and then the key name for example name two and it's going to give you the length of uh, that key that means for example i do get name two here you can see it's a three character word and that's the length of uh, this value right and that's the result here okay now for example if we want to set multiple values with the same command we use m set so just use m set and then the key and the value for example this time i want to uh, uh, insert some number so i will just say num1 and i will uh, just give 50 here and then after a space i will just write num2 and then i will uh, say 60 here num3 and for example 70 and so on right and then press enter and it says okay and then when i say keys keys asterisk it's going to give me name three and name two which were already there and then num one and num two because here you can see i have given the same key two times right so num one was there num two and num two i have given two times let's see the value inside the num two so num two get num two and let's see the value inside it so the value inside is is the last set value so whatever is the last uh, set value uh, you will set for this key it will show you that uh, value here right so once again for example i will uh, just give m set m set and then uh, num 3 here and then give the value of for example 60 here and then once again do the key asterisk it's going to give me name 3 name num3 num2 name2 and num1 right so right now i have two names and three numbers inside my database now if you want to set the expiry in millisecond there is a command called p set x and then it takes uh, the value in millisecond you can see in the intellisense also right so i'm not going to set any value uh, here but I just wanted to show you this command also exists, uh, which will uh, take the value of seconds in milliseconds, right? So this is p set x. Okay. Now there is a uh, one more command which is called decr and incr, uh, which we use to increment and decrement the value of some key. So for example, I want to increment the value of uh, key num1 so let's see the value first of all so value of num1 is right now 50 and then we can just write uh, decr num1 and then press enter and now the value becomes 49 right it will give you the result and when you give get num1 it's going to give you the value 49 so It'll, this decr command will decrement the value by one and if you do incr command to the num1 for example 
once again the value will become uh, 50. So INCR and DECR is to decrease and increase the value by 1. Okay. Let me clear this terminal once again. Now there is one more command to uh, increment or decrement the value by some number. And this is for example uh, INCR by. So INCR by and the key name for example num1 once again. And I want to increment the, the value of num1 by 5. So earlier it was 50 right and then it's going to become 55 because I have incremented the value by 5. In the same way I can do DECR by and on the same number num1 and for example I want to reduce the value by 30 right and then press enter and now it becomes 25 so get num1 and the result or the value inside it is 25. Now the last command I want to show here is the append command. So let me uh, just uh, set one more value for example set and then uh, the key name for example I will name it as my key okay and the value here I want to set is hello okay and then press enter and then get uh, my key it's hello right now there is a append command so I can just use a p p e n d append and as the name suggests I can append something to the key right so I want to append uh, to my key so I will just write the key name and whatever string you want to append here so for example in double quotes I will just give a space here and then I will just write world here okay and then press enter and you can see uh, the number of characters I think for the new value right so once again get my key and it's going to give me hello world so space world is appended to the my key right so append is used to append a string. So these are some of the other command which you can use with the string values. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.